This box might look like a trash can, but it's actually a 1 kiloton nuclear bomb. Yes, this is the MK-54 SADM, simply called a suitcase nuclear bomb. But are nuclear bombs actually portable? If yes, why were they invented in the first place? What was the intended use? And are they still around? Let's find out. This is a little boy. The nuclear bomb dropped in Hiroshima. It had a length of 3 meters, weighed 4.4 tons, and a blast yield of 15 kilotons. Soon the Soviets exploded their first bomb in 1949. Thereafter, both the superpowers raced to create bigger and bigger nuclear bombs. Sarbomba, the biggest nuke ever created, was 8 meters long and weighed a whopping 27 tons. Initially, the US and the USSR focused on what is called strategic nuclear weapons, which was intended to destroy entire cities. The nuclear war works on the principle of MAD, or Mutual Assured Destruction. As per MAD, in the event of nuclear war, both the attacker and the defender would be completely annihilated. This encouraged both sides to avoid a nuclear war. Over time, military strategists began to explore the use of nuclear weapons for non-strategic or tactical purposes. So the US Army in the 1950s created the W-54 nuclear warhead. The W-54 has a yield of only 1 kiloton, which is 15 times less powerful than the little boy, the bomb dropped in Hiroshima. The W-54 was to be fired from M-29 Davy Crockett recoilless smoothbore gun. By the end of 1950s, the US developed the MK-54 SADM, which was a first suitcase or backpack nuclear bomb. It was 18 inches long, 12 inches in diameter, and weighed 26.6 kgs. It had an yield of up to 1 kiloton. Soon the USSR also developed such portable nuclear weapons. So what was the purpose of this bomb? A KGB or a CIA agent was to carry this bomb and sneak into an enemy's location either by foot or can be airdropped. The target can be an air force base, command center, etc. The agent would then set a timer on and escape. The timing is between 5 minutes to 24 hours. As the timer goes off, the bomb will explode, rendering a tactical blow to the enemy. Stanislav Luna was a senior Soviet intelligence officer who defected to the West. Mr. Luna revealed that the Soviet Union created a suitcase nuclear bomb called the RA-115. RA-115 weighed approximately 25 kgs. The KGB smuggled these suitcase nukes into Europe. The KGB hid these bombs at classified locations all over Europe. The RA-115 can last for many years if wired to an electric source. It also has a battery backup. The RA-115 can be remotely activated from Moscow in case of a full-scale war. Lunov also stated that the KGB smuggled this bomb into the US through the Mexican border. The Soviets even had a strategy to poison the Potomac River with chemical and biological weapons targeting residents of Washington DC in the event of a full-scale war. After the Cold War, both the US and Russia began to cut down on their respective nuclear arsenal. The US destroyed all its suitcase nuclear bombs, but Russia found many of their suitcase nukes missing. On 7 September 1997, Alexander Lebed, a former Russian Security Council secretary, in a TV interview alleged that as many as 80 suitcase nuclear bombs are missing. It was lost during the chaotic times in the aftermath of the fall of the USSR. This shocked the world. Even though the Russian government has officially denied this claim of Mr. Lebed, it's very much possible that these highly portable 1 kiloton bombs could have been smuggled out of Russia by corrupt Russian military officers for money. The US launched a worldwide investigation, but has so far supported the Russian government statement that no suitcase nuclear weapon has ever been lost. Other than the US and Russia, Israel is also alleged to have possessed this type of nuclear weapon. The finer details of the suitcase nuclear bombs will forever be cloaked in secrecy. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.